Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on completing the square. This is the second video on the topic, so if you've not watched the first one yet, I recommend you watch that first because you'll get a better understanding of what's going on in this video. Here we're looking at an example where a is 1, and by this we mean the coefficient of x squared when we write quadratics in the general form ax squared plus bx plus c. And with completing the square, we try and put this in the form a lots of x plus d all squared plus e. Uh, so that should be an e on the end. Let me redraw that. So we have a lots of x plus d all squared plus e. And the other thing we need to remember is that d is equal to b divided by 2a. Here though, because a is 1, uh, our expressions are simplified a bit. We don't need the a at the start and we don't need the a there. So we can rub those out. Uh, so this is what we're dealing with here. Uh, so we have this expression here, x squared plus 6x plus 3 equals 1. The first thing we want to do is put this in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So we're going to set it equal to 0 uh, by subtracting 1 from both sides. So we get x squared plus 6x plus 2 equals 0. Now we can put this in the form x plus d all squared plus e. So our brackets are going to be x plus 3 all squared. So we use uh, b over 2 as the number in the brackets and b here is 6. So we get x plus 3 all squared. But if we just take a little detail first of all, and expand this as a set of double brackets. So we've got x plus 3 times x plus 3. Uh, then when we expand these brackets, we're going to get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9. So if you simplify this, uh, this is going to give us x squared plus 6x plus 9. So we've got the x squared plus 6x that we want. So that's in our expression that we had to begin with. But on the end, we've got this plus 9. And in the expression we started with, we have plus 2. So we need to work out the difference between these and how we get from this expression here to this expression here. And the way we do that is by subtracting 7. So let's just remove uh, these workings uh, just to free up some space here. So we'll just rub these out. Okay, now we can move on. So our expression is now in the desired form. Now we just have to set this equal to 0. And now we can solve it. So the first thing we're going to do is add 7 to both sides. So we're going to get x plus 3 all squared equals 7. Now we square root. So we've got x plus 3 on the left-hand side. And this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7. So uh, the square root of 7 can either be positive or negative root 7. And that's because when you square a negative number, you get a positive number. So every time you square root a positive number, you should get two solutions. Uh, so now, now all we do is just subtract 3 from both sides. So we get plus or minus root 7 minus 3 is equal to x. So these are our two solutions. If you want, you can write them out in full. So our solutions are x equals root 7 minus 3 and x equals minus root 7 minus 3. Completing the square is one of the hardest topics in GCSE maths. So if you want to get some practice in, you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform and here you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So it's a really good way of finding out where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.